It's not my fault You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I So here is the palm fronds I was telling you guys about in the video the other day that I picked up from Z Gallery. As you can see, they are silver, but I am going to paint them black. So let's go ahead and get it done. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's you. Throw your peace, put it on me, but baby, it's you. Hi hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl, I love decorating with style, on a budget, and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you are new here and you are into that as well, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So we are standing here in my lounge and I wanted to show you guys just a couple of updates that I made in here. So you guys saw this really pretty vase in a haul, oh, I wanna say maybe two or three hauls ago. I picked this up from Home Goods. I know they have a taller one, but I wasn't able to find it or haven't found it yet. So I just have this one here. And I have paired with it the palm leaf that I got from Z Gallery. Um, I don't know if I showed you or not in the opening scene, but this used to be silver and I painted it white. Z Gallery is selling these right now. I wanna say they're like three for 30 or something like that. But I picked up these silver ones, I want to say two or three years ago, and I figured, why spend more money? I didn't really like the silver ones. I've only used them once. So I decided to spray paint those black, and voila, I think it looks really, really nice here. I love the vase and the palm combination. You guys know. I am doing an urban jungle theme here in my home for summer. And this particular room is decorated in black and white. You know, I use green as my accent color. But in here, I wanted to try to keep it strictly black and white. I guess you could call this my urban jungle or my glam urban jungle. But this is how the room is looking. I absolutely love it. All of these coffee table books, came from home goods and yeah all came from home goods online so if you're looking for affordable coffee table books make sure you go check out home goods and marshall's they also sell some really nice coffee table books at my aunt not michael's marshall's as well and these i showed you in a haul as well these are from Uttermost, absolutely love them. I picked these up from Ashley Home Store. They were $1.99, I think. Um, but the price has gone up now. I looked at them because I was gonna link them down below. They were more like $2.79, so you may wanna wait for them to go back down in price. Um, these flowers here, they are from Spring. I haven't removed them yet, so they're just sitting here on the table. These angel wings, you guys always ask about these. These are from Z Gallery from about five years ago. They are no longer available, but hopefully one day they might bring them back. But I love the aesthetic that they give here to the table. My furniture all came from Overstock Online in this room. Um, I will try to link them down below if you are interested. I love the, I forget what they call this, like Chesterfield or Tufted Detail. Sorry, I did some uh, unboxing here and there's some, what are those little styrofoam balls here? But anyway, this came from Overstock and I love the detail on the arms. 
very, very nice, very glam and elegant. And I paired with it these pillows that I picked up from Amazon. You guys have seen these um, all since spring is when I initially bought them out, but I just absolutely love them. It is a tapestry fabric, which I think gives it that very high-end look, but without the high-end price. I think I picked these up for $20 a piece, which is a little bit pricey, but if you went to a high-end home store, you would pay a lot more, especially for the quality. I absolutely love, love, love this. And I think it looks really nice here. Um, I got two of them. This pillow um, is a pillow cover also from Amazon. I had it on the opposite side of the room to use as seating. When we use the lounge, we come in here and have bourbon. And you guys were like, why do you have the pillow? Well, like, I love the look, but I'm not sure about the pillow. So I move the pillow over here to this side of the room. Um, the lamps came from Ross about three years ago. Um, they came with a different lampshade and I actually picked these lampshades up from Facebook Marketplace. They were oversized and I picked them up for like $10 a piece, which was a great price. This um, canvas print on the wall is from Grandin Road. You guys know Grandin Road is not cheap. So this I did splurge on. It was on sale, <laughs> but even on sale, it cost me, I'm ashamed to say $300, but I really, really liked it. It was oversized and I thought it would be perfect here in the room. And if you are wondering about the paint color, it is, Oh gosh, I think it's Valspar, Mark Twain's Gray Brick. Um, if that's not the right paint brand, I will leave it down here on the screen somewhere, but I absolutely love the color and how it looks here in the room. I wanted a really dark accent wall, and I think this paint color is perfect in here. So over here is just a console table where I keep a lot of my home decor. This came from Home Goods, so about three or four years ago. And I just love the detail of the alligator print. So I picked that up. You guys know about this plant. These um, canisters came from Z Gallery. I leave the greenery in here year round. I just love the aesthetic and the way it looks. I recently added these bookcases to the bookcases, <laughs> these shelves to the room, and I absolutely love them. I love to style my shelves, and this is what we have here currently. You guys know I love stag head moss. I think it is something so glam and elegant. I picked this up from Amazon, oh, I don't know, three or four months ago but I absolutely love it. So if you are interested in it, you can find it listed in my Amazon store. And there is a link in the description box down below. All of the other little accessories, like those marble candle holders came from TJ Maxx. Very affordable price. This piece reminds me, the black piece in the middle, reminded me of something that you would see from CV2. And I picked this up online from TJ Maxx and it was $16.99. This came from Ross, I wanna say that was like $9.99. These came from Amazon. Um, They were two for $10 and then they went up. This, believe it or not, is a floral, uh, a flower pot. Don't mind the dust on there, I need to, need to dust in here. But this came from, the Dollar General, believe it or not. And then I just have some books that I picked up from the Goodwill. And this side looks exactly the same, but because I have my bar cart over here, and as you can see, it's plump full of bourbon. We are big bourbon drinkers, um, high-end bourbon. Um, not real high-end, but you know, mid-range. But anyway, because I have the bar cart here, 
I also added some wine glasses above on this side. So it's a mirror image of the other side minus the wine glasses. And then you guys have seen this before. This I absolutely love. I love this leopard print. It came from Amazon. It's three panels and I didn't want to separate them. So I did put them together and I absolutely love the way it looks. And I did pair with it these really glam candle holders that I picked up from Ross. I think they were like $11.99. And I used them in my Christmas decor and I just love them so much. I decided to use them here year round. They remind me of something that you would probably see at Z Gallery, but for a lot less money. These pieces came from Ikea and they were like $4.99 a piece which I didn't think was a bad idea. I just love the little aesthetic, even though they're really small. And I've paired with it some of the greenery that I picked up from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. This bowl came from CB2. It was $21.99 and I believe it's on sale right now. So if you are interested, make sure you go hop over to the CB2 website to check it out. Again, another piece of Staghead Moss. And I just love the way this looks. Now on this side of the room, oh, also if I didn't tell you those starburst mirrors came from Z Gallery about five years ago. This artwork came from Home Goods, and I want to say it was like $60 a piece and I absolutely love this. Now, this is my dilemma. So this side of the room houses another credenza and I keep my wine glasses in there along with some other home decor items. And it also used to be my bar cart area before I got the bar cart on the other side. My problem is that bar cart holds all of the bourbon and we do like vodka as well so i keep the vodka and mixers and other drinks on this side but i want to style out this credenza i don't want to necessarily have drinks or liquor over here anymore i want to be able to style it out so leave me a comment down below do you think i should leave the liquor here or try to find a way to move it over to the actual bar cart so I can style this area or should I style around not maybe leave this here on this side but then just style up this side this side this plant came from my brother when he passed away so I keep him on this side and then the other plant, if you didn't know, my sister also passed away earlier this year and I have that plant in remembrance of her. And this floral arrangement I put together, it used to be in my family room and I decided to bring it in here, but I didn't want to move my brother because he is about two and a half years old now and his leaves had started to droop and so he was on the other side of the room and I moved him over here and I don't want to move him because I don't want him to start losing leaves again and turning yellow so I did want to put something here in the center though so I just decided to leave them both here together. The other thing that I'm having a problem with is this credenza is made out of particle board and as you can see at some point water got on it and it has buckled. I have been watching some YouTube videos on how to refinish particle board furniture and I don't want to go through all that trouble but I also don't want to go and buy a new piece so I'm thinking about either buying like a thin layer of plywood or some sort of wood and attaching it to this piece and painting it black or just 
putting some con like marble contact paper on here to change up the look and to camouflage that area so you can't see it. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do here in this space. Um, this plant I picked up from Amazon a couple of years ago. I think it was like $69.99 and this planter came from the at home store. All right, so this is a part of the entryway that you guys do not normally see. And this is how it is styled. The mirror came from Overstock about six years ago. I'm sure you could probably still find something similar. Um, the lamp came from the old Pier 1. This um, console table came from, I think, Overstock. The vase came came from Ross and I just love the glam appearance and these florals actually came from Michael's and they were from the clearance section it was fall time and I got a really great deal on these I absolutely love them and I bet you're wondering what this is and this is actually a bottle of alcohol so when we get um packages and stuff in the mail from Amazon, FedEx, Target, um, Home Goods, wherever, I spray down my packages because guys, COVID is still around. So even though things have died down, we still want to be safe in our home. So that is what that is. Um, down here, we have some books from Z Gallery. The little horse head is from Overstock. And the Paris books are from, or the Paris, it's like a storage box, is from Home Goods. And the Louvre book is from Amazon. So this is how the area looks over here. I heard I don't think you've ever seen it before, but that's how it looks. Front door is here, and I just have a little welcome rug there. So that is the update here in my lounge. Again, I just love walking into the space and looking at the room from this viewpoint. And I think it just looks so modern, so high-end. Oh, and this, um, uh, Fandelier, not Fandelier, the ceiling fan came from Overstock. So, and the poofs came from Amazon. So, I just absolutely love the way this looks. So, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, this was an urban jungle theme. I don't want to go wild and crazy with it. I just want to have a little bit of urban jungle here and there. And I think this is just perfect. But leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you become a member of the iStyle, MyStyle family. And I hope to see you in the next one.